Mm -hmm. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me today. It is Ipsy time and I am so excited. If I look exhausted, that's because I am. If I look a little like a drowned rat, that's because I got soaked. But you know, it doesn't matter because I got her, yes. I am like a child. I get ridiculously excited and I cannot set my boxes down and wait till the next day, no matter how late, no matter how tired I am, because I'm a child. But hopefully you love that about me. So before I open this, because I just cut it open with my lovely Hello Kitty, I just want to tell you what it is Ipsy used to be. <laughs> well, see, this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. See, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription that you get monthly, that you get five samples. Bra strap. Then about, I am think I don't think it's been a year yet. I honestly don't know. I've only personally been getting it for a few months now. But they offered you the option to upgrade, and for $25 a month, you will get five full-size products that will come every month. So I get this as well as the $10 a month Ipsy bag, which the, my regular Ipsy, I believe, is coming on the 12th, according to my notifications. But I have been on the fence about this it's been okay i compare it to boxycharm so we're just going to see what they surprised us with this month and i am very excited do you guys get ipsy uh do you get the ipsy glam bag plus are you excited as i am i'd love to know it comes a pretty blue flo floam yes well floam is something completely different but this happens to be foam and it's pretty and it's blue <laughs> and it says don't be pretty like them be pretty like you which i happen to like when you open up the foam you have all of the products and i really don't want to look because i avoid spoilers i do choose add-ons i like to get add-ons with it now you have they have like full-size add-ons that you can get and things like that so that makes me super excited as well I ordered add-ons. I don't know whether I ordered them with this or not. Regardless, we're going to find out together. So my friends, get a cup of coffee, get yourselves ready, and let's go through this box. In here you get a little fold-out card, which of course is going to tell you, in this case for the Glam Bag Plus, they do actually give you the prices. I don't have to do the math and figure everything out, which I don't mind doing, and you guys are telling me that you enjoy it, so thank you for letting me know that. I'm not going to open this up yet, or else it will be a spoiler, and I don't want to be spoiled. Well, I do want to be spoiled, just I don't want to know what's in my bag. I'm pulling out a big box first. And this first box that I am taking out is from Paris Hilton. Um, you will often find Paris Hilton at TJ Maxx. So I'll be very curious to, for them to tell me what the actual price of this, because I know that you can get her makeup. And this is a Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System. I guess she now came out with skincare. The box is a little worse for wear. My outside box is not damaged, but this is like a little beat up. As long as the packaging inside is, and the product is fine, that doesn't bother me. It comes with an instruction booklet. Hopefully I do not need instructions to do skincare. Oh, okay, so this is actually, uh-oh, take a drink, I said actually. This is a cleansing gel. Now let me just see if it is indeed safety sealed. It is safety sealed, so I'm not going to open it. I'm trying out the Tula cleanser that we recently received in, oh, one of the boxes. But this should be interesting. I do want to read the ingredients, and of course, I will give you my thoughts on everything. The next thing I'm going to pull out is also very large. And oh, yay. This is an It a Cosmetics brush. And their brushes do come beautifully packaged, so I love that they left this in the package. And it's even sealed. I don't know if you guys have tried It Cosmetics brushes. There are two kinds. There's It Cosmetics for Ulta, and then there's all regular from It Cosmetics. I happen to have both. I honestly don't notice a difference in quality. They are pricey. They're also hard to get into. And this one is called the Heavenly Skin... Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. Now, have you ever gone into Ulta and played with the display of brushes? I can't help myself. I have to walk by and rub my hand 
across the fuzzy brushes. This is an incredibly soft, soft brush. It is angled and I will be looking forward to doing a try on. I have decided that if I get enough products for each video for each box that I get if I can get enough products I'm going to try them on in a different video so I will be using this for sure because all right now I'm gonna pet my brush I'm just gonna you can go now I'm, I'm the brush and I are just we're gonna be pet <laughs> it has a beautiful handle the ferrule is actually connected here with a little ring that does say it cosmetics on it they're very luxurious brushes I'm going to make an assumption that this is at least a 38 to 48 dollar brush just an assumption we'll see if I'm correct so so far very nice the next thing I am pulling out is from Goldfaden MD have heard of them have not tried them do not know the ingredient base but this is called bright eyes you know it would probably help if I put my glasses on I did bring them with me dark circle radiance concentrate it is supposed to visibly brighten the eye area, reduce the appearance of under eye puffiness and fatigue, and minimize the appearance of fine lines. So far what I can see, the first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is jojoba seed oil, which is wonderful. Cetyl alcohol, a good alcohol. Oh guys, this is looking extremely promising. It has in it squalane, glycerin, I am going to dive deeper into this and I'll absolutely let you know. I'm super excited to try this. I will be trying this tomorrow. Yay! A skincare brand with good ingredients? Who knew? I am thinking that this may be my sample that I chose because it's a sample and these are full size products. This is the Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm from Pure Lease. I probably did choose this. I had to try it because watermelon. And it's sealed, so I'm not going to open it because I love the watermelon from Glow Recipe. Okay, this is interesting because, like, the box is, like, opened. That always just bothers me for some reason. And this is the High Brow Pencil from Benefit. I actually don't think I've tried this one. What color is it in? Can I get it out of the box? Will I stop talking to myself? Probably not. It comes with a little thing inside that says tips and tricks, magic tips and tricks. This is their classic cap, although it's a little bit thicker. Oh, I have tried this. Okay. This goes underneath your eyebrows. It's very creamy as a brightener to make it look bright in case you do not want to put something shimmery as I have today underneath your brow bone and you can clean up your brows etc i have several dupes so to speak from one from brow gal and one from i think lord and berry or something to that effect but this does blend out very nicely you can see it just gives not a highlight but a slight luminescence to your brow if you use it cool and this is probably um over twenty dollars as well the last thing is like falling out of its packaging but the packaging is freaking adorable. I just don't know what it is. It says Moods by Laura Sanchez. All right, let's open it and find out. I don't know who Laura Sanchez is, but again, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Cardboard, but very cute. Oh, well, you look how pretty this is. It does have a nice mirror. I wanted to make sure I could bend it back without breaking the palette. And yes, I can. This is a very colorful, let me move this plastic. This is a beautiful palette. Very, very colorful. Looks like there are four mattes. They almost look like satin mattes though because they don't look completely flat in color, if you know what I mean. And then these are four shimmers of beautiful colors and this looks to be like two highlighters. And I have to swatch some of these. Let's swatch the two interesting mattes. Well, those went on nicely. They feel fairly creamy in the pan. Let's swatch a couple of the shimmers. Now I can say just a little bit that this pan is like a little bit offset. You know when they push it down too hard in there, does it bother me? No, it doesn't because it's very creamy. That's the purple. That looks very nice. And you know what, let's do, this purple is a hard color. Let's also do this green. 
It is like um, an olivey with like a type of gold shift to it. Also very, very pretty. Oh, I'm going to have fun. I will be doing a try on video this week with these palettes. Because my friends, next week it is spring break. Oh, let the angels sing. It's spring break. I am so excited to have some time off. It's not going to be relaxing because I have a million things to do and have to walk walk my other jobs. Yes, they are dogs. I have to walk my other jobs. I have to work my other jobs, but at least I don't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning. Thank you. Anyway, let's get back to this beautiful palette, and I want to swat. Ooh. Ooh. This one a little less ooh, but ooh. Okay, this has this, this white one. It looks, if you look, it looks how many times, Leanne? Do you see that swatch that I did? Once you swatch into it, it gets this pinkish iridescence to it. Oh yeah. It looks white in the pan and then has like a sheen. And this is that tannish one. I think they're both going to look absolutely fabulous on my skin tone. But I said it's fascinating that that looks like a flat white. I almost thought it was a finishing powder. And yet, look, look at that. And it seems to come with actually, oops, a very nice brush. This is a lovely brush. It's fluffy and then it has a thicker, you can't use this for liner because look at the thickness, but you can certainly use it to draw some thick shadow in your corner or even if it's soft enough, I would use it underneath my, yeah, that's an eyeball. Okay, so far, I would have to say that this is my favorite box because I get a nice variety of products. I can do a nice try on session and I'm very happy. So let's read up on some of these products. I'm dying to know how much that palette is. And if you know who Laura Sanchez is, please let me know. So on the front of it, it says now in season, fresh spring beauty. And the first thing they are showing you is the It Cosmetics brush. And it says the Heavenly Skin Skin, Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush number 704. Ooh, I was, I'm good. It is valued at $48. You don't need an entire drawer of makeup brushes when you have that, well, I do need an entire drawer of makeup brushes. I hate to say it, but I do. When you have that one that does it all, not only does this brush give makeup products an airbrush finish, blurring away the appearance of fine lines and pores. I'm sorry, I highly doubt that. It also applies skincare like a dream. And that was this awesome, awesome brush. I said, I personally, well, I don't pay full price for It Cosmetics brushes. I wait till I can get them on sale because I'm not going to pay $48 for any brush unless it is going to grow legs and apply the makeup on me itself. That's when I will pay $48 for a brush. But you get it in a box that I paid $25 for? Yes, please. The next thing is this Paris Hilton skincare, which I am so super curious about. It has a value of $29. Now, I don't pay $29 for a lot of my cleansers because I don't think it's really necessary to do so. But it does say Pro DNA Dual Action Cleansing Gel. And you might not be an actual heiress. No kidding. But that doesn't mean you can't have rich girl skin. This cleansing gel is infused with exfoliating caviar, lime, and pineapple-derived enzymes to brighten skin, cucumber to depuff, and white tea extract to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and help repair sun damage. I will be very, very excited to dive into the ingredients in this and let you know later on what my true thoughts are and if the ingredients are actually in there in a good order. This I'm very, very excited about from Gold Fadden or Faden. I'm going to say Gold Fadden. That's how I would pronounce it. The value is $55. And it says this eye cream gets straight to the root of your under eye issues because there's only so much concealer can hide. Mm -hmm. Formulated with rich brand extract, which I did see was high up in the ingredients. Soy peptides, organic red and tea, and arnica. Arnica is fabulous. If you don't know what Arnica is, if you get a bruise or black and blue, if you start from day one putting Arnica oil or Arnica gel on it straight up, your bruise will go away in half the time. 
It's also used for uh, scars and things like that. Arnica oil is an excellent healing ingredient. Actually, since I am going to open this, let's just see what the texture and consistency is like. It does, I love the fact that it has a pump, it keeps it sanitary, and it keeps the ingredients from being exposed to the air, which is very important in my book. I don't want to waste too much because it's 55 freaking dollars, for goodness sakes. As I shove it up my nose. No real scent. It feels very, very moisturizing, very emollient. Look at the sheen that it gave my hand. When it gives your hand and it sits on your skin like that, it is going to reflect re reflect <laughs> light particles away from your face so I can see it having a slightly blurring effect on, I mean, you're not gonna look like you have no wrinkles, but I can see it possibly having that effect. Cool. The Benefit Cosmetics Highbrow Highlighter. This is valued at $22. Do I think it's necessary to pay $22 for a product like this? No, I do not. But it says, when your brows need a lift, look no further than this creamy highlighter brow pencil. The matte linen pink shade pops on and accentuates your arches for brighter, lifted, younger looking eyes. Okay, now this is what I was so curious about. It says the value of this palette is $35. It says mousse, shadow, and highlighter palette. I'm going to have to do some research on Laura Sanchez because now my curiosity is piqued. Mood swings get a bad rap, but sometimes they can inspire different makeup looks. Score. That's what they said. This all-in-one palette is loaded with matte and metallic shades of cheek and eye colors, an option for any mood you're in. Now you're equipped to express all the feels. Who writes this stuff? This Colombian makeup artist, okay, that answers a little bit of it, was Nix's face, Nix Faces 2016 Beauty Vlogger of the Year. And her brand is all about bold color and self-expression. Okay, as I said, I am so excited to try it out. I will put the total value on the screen somewhere here because, yeah, just, just because I can't end up in my head right now. <laughs> but I do think that the value is quite high. And I said, so far, I am so excited because this is my favorite box thus far. Don't know what the variations are. I don't know if you guys are getting something different. But if you've gotten your boxes, I would love love to know what you got and if you have a channel tag me let me know i would love to go watch your ipsy unbagging as well but that is it for this video i have two more videos to film get used to the fussiness it's going to be around a little while anyway my friends whatever part of the world you are in on and around and oh before i forget i do happen to have on my community page a what was it assumptions about me I only have like 12 so I may or may not do it but if you're interested in me doing the assumptions tag and you would like to go on and, and leave an assumption about me I would appreciate it. if I don't get enough I won't you know do the video it's not a big deal but if you have left a comment so far I really do appreciate it very much and let's finish with whatever part of the world you are in on and around I hope you're having an amazing day an amazing week and I will see you extremely soon definitely tomorrow in my next video much love my friends I love you tremendously bye